开始接呗。Never use other people's solution to solve your own problem. His problem could be very well different from yours. Use your plan. Use your wisdom. This time, David was able to kill Goliath via pebble. Just one pebble. There were still four left. That's what I'm calling 100% preparation. Do your best. You have to do your best. That's not enough. David had an additional 100% preparation. He already did his best. The best is still not an equivalent of success. We need God's grace. When the giant Goliath saw David, he said, he looked David over and saw that he was only a boy, ruddy and handsome, and he despised him. He said to David, "Am I a dog that you come at me with sticks?" And the Philistine cursed David by his gods. He belittled David. How would you be able to fight me? Looked at David's response. David said to the Philistine, "You come against me with sword and spear and javelin, but I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. This day the Lord will hand you over to me and strike you down and cut off your head. Today I will give the carcasses of the Philistine army to the birds of the air and the beasts of the earth, and the whole world will know that there is a God in Israel." And all those gathered here will know that it's not by sword or spear that the Lord saves, for the battle is the Lord's, and He will give all of you into our hands. David, David articulated an important statement. The battle is the Lord. He said the battle is the Lord's. This is not a human battle. This is the battle of the Lord. This time I'm not fighting you because of my strength. I'm relying on God's strength to defeat you. If God helps you, who can defy you? If God stands against you, who can actually help you? Unless the Lord builds the house, unless the Lord builds the house, the builder labor in vain. That's why I say. That's why the Bible says. Unless the, the Lord watches over the city, unless the Lord takes uh, takes watches over the city, the watchman stands guard in vain. The watchman stands in vain. Unless the Lord. That's why the principle is unless the Lord is of help to you, all the helps will be of no avail. This time, clean clothes, hold close to God. Now David, hundred percent of the Now that David has hundred percent preparation, this is David's conduct, David's behavior. This is David's action, David's self-discipline. Hundred percent of the sinko, hundred percent faith. This is David's sincerity. This is the faith of God, uh, David. This is bird. Let's take a look at this so uh, bird. How would it be able to fly? Right? It needs a pair of wings. Just one side of a wing. Must wings. You need a pair of wings. That's us. One is our performance. The other side is our faith. Our action plus faith put together. Lots of people say, "Let's rely on God, have faith in God." Very really good. That's good. But may I ask, when you say you have faith in God, what have you actually done? If do nothing, if you do nothing, you're you're only just having faith in God. You're actually tempting God. There are people who just rely on their own strength. Until they die, they haven't tasted success. Remember, you need a pair of wings. One is your action performance. The other one is your faith and trust. Together, you will fly. This is David. This is principle. Third principle. How do you confront difficulties? It goes press forward in the face of difficulties. David, as David confronted Goliath, he said, "I want you to know that Jehovah is our God." So that you will know that the victory is Jehovah's. You are actually very moved by David's statement. 
But what did the Philistines say? As the Philistine moved closer to attack him, David ran quickly toward the battle line to meet him. As this giant rushed towards the direction of David, what did David do? David David ran toward the enemy. This was a simple statement. But there are two important meanings therein. Number one. First, David First, David faced difficulties courageously. There's only one way of facing difficulty, and that is courageously. avoid the problems. Problem in one way, if you are perpetually escaping, evading the problem, the problem will never be solved. The problems are right in front of you. You have to confront it. Imagine, imagine. You just imagine. You imagine this big, uh, this giant of 300 pounds, 9 feet tall, rushing towards you. There are only two directions that you can go. Number one. First, you can retreat. Now that he's coming towards me, I might as well run away. Second is advance. If you come forward, I will rush towards your direction too. That's why two options for you. There are many people when the problem arises, he just retreat. Fleeing the difficulty and refusing to face it. In the case of Saul, it's like that. In the case of the Israelites, when the Goliath was was coming towards them, they were he was challenging the Israelites to fight with him. Not a single person dared to step out. They all retreat. If you don't face up to your problem. The problem won't go away by itself. The problem will only worsen. In the case of Goliath, the Bible recorded that Goliath actually blasphemed these people twice a day for 40 days. So that's 80 times. I believe the blasphemy got worse day by day. First time it could be, it's just saying, let's fight. Nobody dared. Second time, nobody dared. So what did he say? You're you're useless. Third day, nobody dared come out. He said, You're all young kids, you're all women. The blasphemy must have gotten worse. Problem is something like that. When a problem is here, unless you confront it, it will grow bigger. Till a certain point, you will not be able to confront it anymore. May God help us. From another perspective, this time it's not retreating, it's advancing forward. When the problem arises, we face it courageously. Brothers and sisters, the world needs this kind of people. When when people see certain problems, they retreat. There are certain kind of people they face it courageously. What kind of a person are you? I have been in service in this church for about twenty years. There's something uh, that happened. There's a deacon. Because uh, of a business failure, he owed lo- uh, people lots of money. He was actually ripped off by people.